we know that it, there's about 45,000 older adults that are um, 65 and over in our service area, and about one in four are uh, in need, uh, whether it's they need transportation uh, to get to a doctor's appointment or maybe food uh, to, so that they can stay in their home. United Way uh, helps meet the food needs of older adults, um, and we also do home-delivered meals for folks that might not be able to uh, prepare their meals. Meals on Wheels is really a help. A lifesaver, I would say. Meals on Wheels provides about 1,100 meals a day to homebound older adults in Cedar Rapids, Marion, and Hiawatha. For those that don't have the resources to get out to pick up food or groceries or to be able to cook for themselves. I couldn't make a meal every day. Let me put it that way. Some days I feel real good. Some days I don't. This is a necessity. It will help people get their nutritional meal. There were two programs in Cedar Rapids. Whitworth Senior Center delivered meals and so did Horizons. And many times we were delivering to the same buildings that Whitworth was. So Horizons and the Whitworth Senior Center combined our programs to improve the efficiencies that we could get by having less staff doing more meals. I'm the cook here and today we made 597 meals. And today's meal is smothered beef, and the other option that we have is chicken cordon bleu. It comes with uh, broccoli and uh, potatoes and uh, several side items. The biggest problem is the funding issue. There's still a huge gap in the funding, and because there's such a big gap in funding, there's a lot of needs. There are financial needs. There are needs for more volunteers because we have 44 home-delivered meal routes every day, and we only have eight paid drivers. So that means that there are a lot of volunteers that help us every day to get those meals delivered to our clients. I've been a volunteer with Meals on Wheels for about 11 and a half years. The people that I meet on the route, I call them my new kids because I taught middle school for 17 years and taught school for 34. So my new kids run from the ages of about 60 to 90 plus. They um, are full of stories and we share a lot of camaraderie. They kind of become family after a while. You get very attached to them. For many of the clients that we serve, the only person that they see all day, all week is us. To know when you go into that person's house that the meal doesn't mean as much to them as the social contact that they get when they see your smiling face. It makes it all worthwhile. It's not about food really for me. I mean, I know they need the food, but the real reason I do it is the people connection. Besides delivering meals, they provide important safety checks. So the contributions by the volunteers are very important to the program. The one thing I do like about it too is if they come and don't get in touch with me, they call my son and say, you know, to let my, then my son a call to see why I didn't answer the door. Not only do we need donations to United Way to help support these programs, we also need your help in meeting some of the needs, especially in our, our rural communities. Um, so if you're able to provide uh, transportation to an older adult to get to a medical appointment or maybe um, deliver one of those meals, that, that really does a lot of good for all of our community.